Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild. I got no comments about what what system I should use. So I uh, said hmm, the people will be angry if I don't use the 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 crazy route first. But I prepared the easy route, so I can just slap a, <laughs> slap one of these mining beam lasers under this thing, and uh, I also got the battery. So uh, if anything breaks, doesn't work as I wanted, I immediately change that out and do something else. But I'm struggling with the with the connections. The connections are just weird. I am using the. Yeah, these Eichsters decorations um, pipes because they work as conveyors and they even let they would even let components through so the uh, ore goes through the small conveyors anyway so that doesn't matter I'm trying to hopefully get that done I'm I'm not sure I didn't test if if this system does anything at all so let us press reverse and hope nothing explodes that seems to work now we do that with one of the other ones um, where I have already other things attached to so maybe this one this one would be good to see um, I want to get to the middle so I can reach a certain depth with this um, Again, I'm not sure if this is stable enough. The whole thing could flip upside down when I use it. Um, I hope the landing gears prevent that, but yeah, it could happen that uh, like it happened with the solar, solar array that this thing just rips itself apart for some reason. Again, if that happens, then I will go the very, very easy route with the whole thing. I thought about the position of my or detector and I think I will position that down here somewhere so I can definitely see where stuff is one thing I need to do too is and that's one thing I want to maybe quickly do now so that we can see it this station also needs a point where um, the SAM autopilot manager can then dock to and the only things we need to do with um, with a station would be to bring in the the script and then set up two or three things so I think that's one thing we can do SAM's some version 2 copy to editor uh, just to show that off if you want to change your max speed for your ships you can do that here if you use um, one of the speed mods and I'm using a 200 meter speed mod then you want to change this uh, the, the default script keeps it five or nine uh, meters per second below the below the max speed I did that too so I went to 195 instead of the instead of the full 200 um, everything else I don't touch you can take a look at it it's um, the distance it's it, it kind of when it goes into the approach and then when it when it docks how fast should everything happen I'm I'm not sure maybe <laughs> don't know if you can do that then do crazy <laughs> crazy speedy uh incoming things so the only thing that we then need to do is find our antenna uh set that up as sam and find our connector And set that up as Sam. Now that I can type the stuff, I'm pretty happy. And we need to change the programmable block. I have a second one on here to Sam at 
So it changes that automatically. It, it uses the same method that Tim uses. So I think you could also just type at were and then it would work. The second uh, programmable block I have on here is for one of these renaming scripts. People, uh, people showed me or not showed me. They did show they were oh, there are these things you can use them. I had to do all the work myself and find it. I, I'm using whips uh, renaming script. Works out fine. Um, after that, I usually just go through and then make the batch. And then when I forget something, I will just do that afterwards. <laughs> and um, there's another script or not another script, another mod someone suggested, or it was again, not the suggesting it was coming in and saying, Hey, you might, I don't know if you know, but there is a, there's a mod that does that. It's a nice suggestion. Thanks for that. But um, I, I would like to have a link to something like that. Just don't go and and be smug about it. Go and say here, this this is a mod. I have the the best example is Ash Aha. Ash Aha just goes in and says, mm, here's this mod. Here's a link to this mod. This mod does this and that. You might want to consider that. That's a good way to <laughs> set up your your bot proposal. Not mm, this a mod for that. Maybe mm, if you know. No, it's <laughs> I'm I'm trying I'm I'm trying to be. Uh, <laughs> I I don't want to come off as too angry because um, it it was a good suggestion. I took a look at that, and yes, there's a neat mod where you can basically put screen outputs on your screen it works with a text hut uh, text hut thing that the that the block in vision block info mod uses to um, i might want to use that for the cargo drone now what is that oh what was that Oh no, a civil scene was spawned. That that always makes problems. I'm the the <laughs> the the problems when coming back to the station are gone. And now these these two ooh, these two make do make real problems. These things really make problems when, when it comes to lag. So for the cargo drone, I don't really need to set up this stuff because the cargo drone usually should work on its own so i want to see the camera for a moment press the button and then be out of that so i don't need to constantly change that if i really would want to change that constantly then everything's fine so for a next iteration or so i will definitely take a look at that it seems I hope at least the, the mod is not very specific there, but I hope that I can set it up in a way where it is just connected to remote controls, for example. So if I can go and enter a remote control, then I see the screen that would be neat because then uh, I could save up on, on all this stuff. The thing here is I want to have this stuff because I can use the cargo drone from this monitor art so I can go up to the cargo drone, press a button and then it does what I want. So um, that's something I definitely want to have here. Good. What we will take a look. See that? The mining machine one, that's how that is, how that thing is called, shows up in the configuration menu. Now we can just select it, change the screen again. And there it is. So now the cargo drone can fly towards the mining machine, grab stuff and then be back. So um, I forgot something. Um, can we change that now? Ah, we will have to just reconfigure this so let's go then this thing goes away we want to have a sorter here a conveyor sorter to be set up the way where 
this thing then can I hope I can reach one of the panels from here then and then set up a connector on top of it this sorter will make it so that when the cargo drone arrives here it uh, puts stuff into the into the containers the the ship oh okay that's that's not nice so drain all and i want to maybe maybe we should take a look at that later and go in and uh, maybe see if do the okay the azimuth reactor just keeps its power so that's not a problem um what i'm thinking about is maybe make it so that this uh, drains all on some sort of contact or so we could set up a uh, a sensor that does that so to keep it from uh, constantly ripping everything out of the containers uh, i'm i'm not sure but yeah maybe maybe that's the way to go okay we need to make another connection to the middle here so what I'm doing here is I'm setting up one of these plates. These plates are basically configurable um, plates for a conveyor connection. They are relatively nice. I really have to say these. Hmm. I want to use more of these of these tubes. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. just set it up this way and in the end we just add one of these and then we can set up another cap and have another conveyor connection you can see it down here and now we can just add a piston to the whole mix i built it before and then i saw that it yeah it I build it with the normal blocks and then hmm, okay there's no connection to anything so maybe you want to have that i want to have that below this so then the whole thing is in the middle of the of the whole contraption now set up one of the advanced rotors i will have one rotor down here and we will use a uh, rotor power to do the whole thing um, for example, uh, K-Max did something with, um, not with rotors, or he has rotors on there, but he doesn't use rotors to drive the whole thing. He uses gyros. I want to use the rotor and we will see how that works out. This whole thing will be slow, 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 but that's okay. Um, one problem that I might run into, and that's something we will have to take a look at when it's done. Okay, drills. One, mm, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if that's enough. One, two, three, four, five. We should have enough materials for some drills because I constantly use drills in building the station. Three. We could go a bit bigger, but for now, I think that's all we do. It looks so flimsy. The thing is that space engineers, again, if if nothing breaks off and flies away and hits some one of the legs, then flimsy is not the problem <clears throat> um, this seems to work out my 
problem might be that I hope we can lift this thing off and don't run into problems with um, the huge weight below the whole thing hanging here freely with uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five subgrids attached to it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this works out. We will see. Um, come on, what's missing? Steel plates. I'm missing steel plates constantly. That's one thing we will have to address first. That's... We need steel or we need iron. I've set up some, um, some more assemblers down here so that hopefully production goes a bit faster. Let us take a look at that. It's just, it's an assembler wall back, back here. Assemblers set to cooperative mode works out pretty fine. Uh, while this is producing and while this is still being welded up, I can go into the station again and show you what I've done there. The From the outside, you don't see a lot. And it's, let's say it, it's from the inside, it's also not a lot, but I'm working on it. I introduced Izzy's inventory manager to the system. Problem is I need to read up on Izzy. Um, Izzy has some different settings that I need to control to see. Um, th there's uh, Izzy manages eyes, it manages ores, and it it kind of spreads them over the whole cargo system and over the whole system with. Uh, or two generators and it also spreads for example uranium and there are some things i need to turn off thanks laser uh, there's things i need to turn off and then there's things where i need to specify this containers for this this containers for this and um before i do that continue with izzy i i want to set that up so you can see that here i'm I worked on how to get a 45 degree slope set up um, with a drill. And that's what I came up with. So I attached a, a drill to this, uh, drilled, removed the drill, put in a piston, drilled down, removed the piston, added some blocks, put a piston, da, 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 so that I could have a slope downward where I could go into yeah deeper parts of the base and uh, now i need to have some lights down here and need to do some work down here i want to go into that direction and then drill a hangar bay maybe for eventual use for ground vehicles uh, not that i want to have them for now but we can store other things in there too um, and then later I want to go higher up somewhere to drill out a hangar for, uh, yeah, normal, not normal, for spaceships or something like that. There I will work with one of the, with the hangar fields mod so that I don't have to be, I'm not pressed on size somewhere up, up there. Um... I'm still working on out how many rooms I want to have in here and what rooms uh, control area somewhere so that I can set up um, computers or uh, programmable blocks and screens and all that stuff similar to the big blue. Yeah, I have a, I have a control area then I need a medical room and all that stuff and I'm not sure how RP I go and build maybe some barracks or something like that so people can sleep here. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm working more on that kind of in between. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how how interested you are in, in seeing the builds here at least in videos. So is that welded up now? Can we can we drop this thing somewhere and maybe we could try that. Let me get another ore another ore detector. 
One problem that I have with my microphone now is that I again have to look around it and uh, I could also put it somewhere inside of the drilling rig, but hmm. Okay, this should work out. C plates are missing again, I hope. The C plates go very, very fast at the moment. Oh no, I can't get C plates anymore. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Do I have anything? in the cargo holes. No, no steel plates. Maybe, maybe I can disassemb disassemble some of the magnetron parts. The, I, I have to clean this up because now Izzy spread stuff to the cargo drone, for example, and I don't want to have stuff in there. So even if I set up Izzy, I need to definitely I need to definitely um, tell it to not, what is in there? Maybe I can just go as disassemble all. There is iron ingots in there and there's a lot of iron ingots in there. That's good. That could help us to just get the few steel plates that I need. I just need a few steel plates, not a lot. So. This takes a while. Good. I will make a short pause, uh, get this thing welded up, and then we fly this to a point where we can maybe make the first drilling attempts. So the whole thing is not done yet. I still have to get some more steel plates out of that, and I will not be able to do that. So do I take something apart or bring I... Do I bring that back? I still have some things in here that I can dismantle. I have set up some stone dusters on the whole, um, on the thing. And I want, to, so I, I can get rid of, uh, I can get rid of uh, stone that's in the machine. I hope this whole thing works out. Okay, this is still producing. That's a good thing. And now we just have to wait. It's only a few steel plates that I need for them. I hope that it will be done now. Nice. Do I have... I have some steel plates in my inventory. So, okay, now we will take off this place down there. Cobalt and iron, that's where I want to get to. I dug there already. So it might be um, good to maybe move a bit after that. There's enough power here to at least hover. So now the question is, uh, can we get there in time? <laughs> this, is, this is so crazy. Does the ship drop? That's one thing I want to see is if the whole under the whole stuff that's under there makes it drop out of the sky. Drop, drop, drop out of the sky is maybe a bit too harsh. No, it can perfectly stand there. That's good. I sh shared the inertia tensor with the with the whole system, so um, I hope nothing breaks off, nothing flies away. Um, now I just have to get over there two kilometers flights with this thing could be problematic we have enough power to maybe integrate bigger thrusters later or more thrusters so that the whole system can arrive somewhere a bit easier we have power for six days as long as we are flying um, the the big reactor again it eats through it eats through power when the whole thing is, yeah, when the whole thing is under, under huge strain. No, uh, I'm not happy with the, <laughs> with the, with the ore detector down there. 
And one thing I don't know is how fast should this whole thing be? Um, I want to uh, make a test and go real slow with drilling. Here we also get some ice. That's a good thing. Um, the, the only thing that I have is that in these areas, we, we can take a look at that. Uh, in these areas, it is usually the problem that the ice goes really deep and then iron comes really late uh, so i'm not sure if i can if i can reach anything here that might be problematic okay let us go a bit forward we turn a bit so that we don't run into this into this hole and we will place ourselves directly above the the ore deposit and hope that we can we can go deep enough with the with the drills there. Otherwise, we might have to add some more some more drills, some more pistons to the whole setup. That could be crazy. At one point, we run into the problem that we basically have just too many too many drills on there. Next thing I kind of want to know is: Should I put some guns on here? just so that the spiders i i'm not sure if the spiders really attack the the structure but if they do i might have to add some might have to add some guns to it okay go down go down go down slowly inertia dampeners off now lock the whole thing to the ground they, they come up they come up they don't attack but they come up i could add a laser or two just to to shoot the things and we could make the drill head bigger in the end okay let us let us go and start the rotor uh, i know that there is ways to automate that so or not automate but we could go and i don't know maybe should we go we, we will go for one here just just for now one here this is really slow one um uh rotor advanced rotor we'll go to four that seems to be a lot better now turn on the drills uh, we need a group for that drill safe and now we Put that onto the hotbar drill. Is that the group? So toggle block on. That works. Now all the pistons. This needs to be slowed down this needs to be definitely slowed down so we will go to here we will really go to one because we have more pistons and each one of them is now we might even go slower let's go to something like this um each piston here uh, they, they add up in speed basically so uh that's something we need to take a look at okay then group the piston group reverse and we may let us get the the rotor on here too if we stop that toggle block on off does it stop it stops good okay then let us try 
to drill. Oh, this is too fast, I have the feeling. Or the rotor needs to be slow, uh, faster. <laughs> We're drilling. We are definitely drilling. That's neat. That's really neat. I I hope that we don't snag somewhere. Um, I will take a look at this and see if it makes problems somewhere. And I will come back to you with hopefully a nicely drilled hole. That <laughs> oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> it's just um, so hopefully I don't run into any problems here. Um, Ah, it would be so nice if that would just work. We could set it up, uh, let this thing run, and then bring in stuff with the with the cargo drone. That would be so cool. I need to think about it the next time that I bring the small ship or so with me, um, so that I can get away from here. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm I'm recognizing that I'm far away and I don't have anything to to get back to. Good people, uh, we'll be back in a second. The perfectly drilled hole is not there yet, but the amount of iron that we have here is good. It's good. I, I'm surprised by that. We have a lot of nickel, a lot of ice, a lot of iron, and that's just one cargo container. This thing is... Ooh, I like it. And let us let us make a test and see if if this works out. This thing, by the way, is connected to the space station, so we should have, as long as we, as we are the space, the orbital station, as long as we can see that thing, we should be good with, uh, with being connected up to something. Okay, let us go and see where is, oh, I need to rename everything and be vigilant with that cargo drone okay cargo and we use the remote control and then we go into it and control it go to the camera oh okay mining machine we need to go in and oh no we didn't set up the we didn't set up the connector correctly. That's something we need to do. Everything's filled up with ice, by the way. It's <laughs> that's that's crazy. Sam. Now everything should be good. Sam should recognize that and then we should be good with everything. I hope, I hope this doesn't crash now. I hope we don't run into that problem. Let us wait a second until it is, it is saved up and then I can, if something crashes, I can go back. I, I don't want to rebuild all of this and uh, bring it back in and all that stuff. That's, I would hate that. It should work as, work as advertised. I'm, I'm, I'm Pretty sure it should work, but uh, better safe than sorry, I would say. Okay, let us control that thing. Go to one. Uh, we need to change the screen. Get this mining machine off and bring in this one. Change the screen. Green again. Configuration, no. Oh, okay. Mm, um, wrong button. Three. Go to this and start the drone. The drone is... At least it's in the air. We can see that. The last, the last thing there. It hopefully comes towards us. It's working. It's coming towards us. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Now let's hope nothing crashes. If something crashes, then I will be, I will be sad immediately. Very, very sad. Please, drone, don't do that. Fly towards it, dock like advertised. Bring in all the stuff. Okay, that works. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Take a look. Take a look. And docked up. Is it docked up? It's docked up. Absolutely nice. And did the... Did it already fill up with stuff? No, it didn't. So... How do we do that now? The connector... Hmm, the connector... Can we... I don't want to set up the way where the... It set up in a way where it... The problem with throw out is that it then throws it out or out or does it... Does it shove that into... No. Mm -mm. Oh, the cargo drone is filled up pretty badly with stuff. So maybe that's the problem here. Ah, oh, we should have. But it fills up. It it stores the stuff. Yeah, collect all is, I think, the thing more. I'm not sure. We will wait and see. When this is filled up, we will fly it back. The the collect all is uh, the the throw out is I think not what we have to do. <laughs> I'm this is this is stuff I haven't really done yet in in five years of doing space engineers I I've never really dabbled with this I I dabbled with this I've made a mining machine yeah but uh, I, I don't I didn't set up automatics so. I'm kind of running into the problem now that I don't really know how to do that. That's a shortcoming of mine, a real shortcoming of mine. And now I kind of have to deal with this. Um, so the I think the drone is full now. We will just send it back, empty it out. Uh, we can could even do that with. Um, we could even do that with. Uh, I hope this thing can still fly. It should. The 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 whole thing is this whole thing is completely overpowered. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. It's so nice. Come on, fly back. Even if it takes away. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Come on, we, we will just follow it with the with the, with the hydrogen thrusters. We can just we can just come back later. Um, I want to fly the the mining machine back anyways when it's emptied out, so that I can make modifications if needed. So what do you say? This this works, or it's it's pretty nice how how well it. It works in the end. I'm I'm really happy now. No crashes, please. No destruction, no crashes. That would be nice. And then everything's fine. Oh, that was so smooth, people. I think I I can't do anything more. Or this this is enough for now. I'm I'm done for today. I would say <laughs> it's. The the mining machine is still drilling. If I can set it up now that it or that it empties that thing out immediately and I don't have to worry too much about um all the Yeah, if if I can send the mining the drone there, uh get what's in there, bring it back here, empty it out, send it off again, that would be great. That would be really great if that would just stay that way. Um, now I need to see cargo and 
cargo here. I need to completely empty out that thing. This is a large cargo container on the ship and now to the drone. So we, we have ice for hours now. Um, the, the, the good thing about that is now we could again think about powering everything with, um, I'm not sure with whatever, with the uranium and the, this crazy, crazy reactor there. At least we have ice like crazy. That's, that's definitely cool. The DBM laser charges, these things, I need to get rid of them. Magnesium, nickel, uh, everything processed already. This is again, this is all stuff that comes out of the uh, azimuth cargo uh, reactor. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. The, I think the. I think it got balanced out again, and that's always problematic. Now. Let us refill this with 200, 200. I need to, the, the, the thing is, I have set up now two, I've set up two different, no, no, no. You get more, 500. I've set up two inventory management systems now and that's one thing i need to address because it's not possible in my opinion to work with both both need different keywords to be set up and i need to make my mind up on which one to use izzy's or the new nds or andy's and the the or tim i'm used to tim but Tim runs into problems once in a while, and there's, I'm not sure if if the new if there's a really new version of Tim. I'm running an updated version from some someone, and the hmm, I need to address that. I definitely need to address that. Good people, I think that's all for today. I'm, I've am i emptied out the cargo drone. I will send it back to the mining machine, get more stuff in and take a look if this thing broke apart there. And um, yeah, I think next the next time we might make some just some minor changes to it so that I maybe put some lasers on it, maybe a few more thrusters or something like that. But first, first, I need to completely empty it out. Now it's filled with tons and tons of stuff. So we also need to upgrade the cargo here or the cargo on the station. That's another thing I need to address. Uh, that's good. That's completely fine. I'm really happy with it. Good people. I hope you liked this episode. Um, if you did, then please leave a like on the video. Tell me if you have some, some ideas for that. Um, uh, if you would change something that's problematic uh, or if you see some problem with it that I don't see. And um, yeah, take a look at the description of the video. There's all the links to everything and uh, uh, Patreon, Twitter and whatsoever. I need to address that more and do something more with that. I have the feeling. Good people. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. See ya, guys.